Okay, right, I'm just going to do a quick video now to show you how to do that method to find domains that have basically fallen out, they've uh, been deregistered or whatever, um, and you can find them before they actually end up anywhere other than just to re-register them for the same amount as you would normally, so you know, your five, six quid type stuff. Now, first thing you need to do is find some sites to actually scrape, because what you're going to do is you're going to scrape domains to find out links that are broken that may well be domains that are up for grabs. So what you've got to do first of all is find a bunch of domains. Now get as many as you can for this. Um, the best way to do this is either to know the market that you're going into and just go for the main authority sites in those or to Google something to do with your niche and find out the top results in that and find the bigger sites in that. Now, the bigger the site, the better, because obviously the more links you will have, the more likely it is to have some links that have fallen out of favor or uh, not out of favor, they've fallen off of the radar and the domain name has expired and you can grab it okay so you can do it where you can literally you can search for something in your niche you can if you're looking for .co.uk type domains you can look on here and just do something like that and then you can find the different pages like that or you might like I say already know the authorities or you can go for um big 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 sites like huge authority sites like maybe your uh, wikipedias and your bbc's and stuff like that but obviously that's going to take a long time to scrape but it is worth it and you know you may well find some hidden gems in there right what you then do is you find a site so for this example we'll take this uk muscle site and we'll copy that uh and then actually let's go for the bodybuilding because I actually did that at the site before, right? Okay, then what you need is this Xenu Link Sleuth. If you go to here, you can see the just there, or you can just search for it, just search for uh, Xenu Link Sleuth, Sleuth. Download it, it's a free download, and it's a piece of software which looks like this, okay? What you then do is you take the domain that you just got, you go to check URL, you pop the domain that you found, or the domains that you find, you can open up lots of instances of this to have it all running at once. If you've got a server, then obviously you can have this running permanently, you can just put it on there, just load them up, then run. Uh, then we go to the options, and what you need to do is make sure the options look the same as this. So what you're looking for, you've got 70 threads, you want to treat redirections as errors, report the broken links ordered by the amount of links and the statistics and you only want to go to the depth of two basically that means it goes to the sites and then the sites that link to those sites okay click okay and then we just click okay on this and it goes off and it runs away now what this now does is it finds all the different links um like i say the bigger the site the better this one here i'm not sure how many this is going to end up at because it's still working out but you can see it's going to have quite a lot of links there when this comes out, what you do is you file uh, and you export to tab separated file, okay? Uh, and then you will just throw that inside a text file. You will end up with something along the lines of this here. Now this looks all like gobbledygook, obviously. What we wanna do is we wanna select it all and copy it. And we're gonna open up Excel and we're gonna paste it into there. And then in this status here, we're gonna select it all, data, filter and then in the status we're going to go down and the idea is that we want to find something that says host not found okay now this hasn't got any in it but let's imagine it did we unselect everything and we just select the host not found and it would come up with a bunch of stuff here now these are all mail too so this is not going to be any good for what i need to show you so let's have a look at something else status okay let's imagine we've just done it and we've ended up with this little bunch here okay now what we would do is we would take these anything that shows up we copy them and we pop them into somewhere that strips away the html for us so i'll just go to there now is this here called uh url url to domain.com and we will literally paste that into there say that we want all this like it is and then we can do all these if we want to uh, and then url to domain what it does is it finds all of that nonsense and it finds the domains hidden inside it and then throws this out to us. Now what we can do is we can actually go and we can check these in a bulk checker. So we go and we go to Dynadot bulk search, pop them in here, click the event of fully qualified domain names and click search. 
now it'll get rid of anything that isn't actually because this is a subdomain obviously this cdn and as i said this is just a test but what will happen and you can see both of these are taken if it had said that the host was not found and then you came here there's a good chance that one of these would not be taken which means it's up for registration now what you want to then do is you want to take the ones that are available and you want to pop them in your usual due diligence so you're going to take it somewhere like majestic and then click to see what it is now we've already talked anywhere 15 plus but 20 plus is brilliant uh, for the trust flow and citation flow technically need to be kind of close together don't want the citation flow to be too huge compared to the trust flow okay and you would do your usual due diligence so come in here check that that's okay and it's worth buying go to the anchor text check that it's not spam or porn or anything like that um, referring domains you could have a look just check that it's not all relying on one particular brilliant domain link that could disappear at any time okay um, and you can see, I mean, obviously this is a, an actual good site, so you can see it's brilliant. If this was actually the case, you would then just go to your favorite registrar like Namecheap or GoDaddy, and you would just type in that domain, register it and get it done. Uh, register it under a false name, put it on separate hosting, like one of these $1 hostings. If you need a list of that, just let me know. Pop it on there, get that in a false name as well, uh, and put it all up there and use it as your PBN. And that is pretty much all there is to it. Now, the idea behind this is obviously the bigger the scale you can do, the better. So if you want to be running this on certain thing on the, on a server, things like that, then fantastic. Uh, you would set it up and just have it done so that it's running and running and running and trying to find these domains for you. Uh, even better than that is to obviously get some sort of scraping tool made designed so that it does it for you on absolute autopilot. But that is how you do that. That is how you find the domain names. And I hope that helps you out for referencing. Cheers.